Hello folks, welcome to our homestead if you're new here. If you've been around here before, welcome back. But again, if you're new, hey, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you'll enjoy what we do if you like outdoors kind of stuff. You know, like collecting firewood with snowmobiles, ATVs, building stuff out of our own lumber. You know, we harvest our own logs here, whatever. I'm not gonna get into all that. If you stick around, you'll see, or you can check out some of our other videos. Today's video, we're gonna go see what we can fetch for some firewood. We have lots of firewood, we're not short but that's our gym. That's how we get exercise in the winter and we love it. So we're gonna take that old snowmobile I, I built. That's a homemade Alpine I put together. You can see that in my videos too, if, if you're new here. We're just gonna take that little plastic sleigh over there and we're gonna see, we're gonna pull out four loads of firewood with it and we're gonna see what kind of pile we end up with and you'll see at the end of the video, the pile. This is the second day we've actually used this. Um, so yesterday we brought out, we hauled out three loads like that then I split it last evening and then uh, we moved that. So today we're going to see if we can't get out four loads. So we're going to show you as we go what we get for these little sleigh loads and how much it piles up. And we're going to toss it into our 5x10 trailer and you'll see what we get. We're probably not going to pile it in there. I think we're just going to toss it in and see what we get. So this is the start. Heather started unloading this and I went and grabbed the camera real quick. But you'll see how it goes. We will uh, take you in to where we're getting it, but there's a lot of nice trees in there, isn't there, Heather? Yeah, there is. Like a lot of nice big dead pine, just mm -hmm. nice size, you know, probably maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, anywhere between a foot and 14 inches on the butt. Some are a little smaller, but there's so many in there, man. There's got to be about 40 dead trees in there in that one spot where we are. Um, we can get to it with a snowmobile, but it would be tight to get to it with an ATV. So that's why you literally have to make a road in there. So that's why we're in there now. We're going to clean it out. Well, we won't clean it out. I mean, there's so much in there, but, but we're going to do our best to get a bunch out. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to find a spot to pile it in the basement somewhere. It's going to be in the way when I take my International Cub Cadet in there, but that's that's fine. I'm going to I'm going to take some in and I'm going to pile up even more. Maybe we can find a spot and pile some under the stairs even, right? We'll just yeah. pack her in there. Yeah, we load her up. And if, when I get the Cub Cadet going, once the basement is totally stuffed and we can't fit any more in there, we'll put some over there. The only thing I don't like, though, is those little white moths that come out of that jack pine. You notice that? Yeah, I know. It's gross. They come like, out. I mean, not gross, but I mean, like... Irritating. It's irritating. They come out and they fly all over. So, well, we're going to pick out some stuff there and we're going to do our best. If we have to, we'll spray something in the basement. I don't know to to keep them down or hang fly strips up. I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna see what we get. So we'll keep going and we'll keep you informed. We're gonna unload this a little bit and then we'll be back. Well, that sleigh load is undone. I mean, that sleigh load is empty, and we just toss it up here. So this is what we get. Little reference on the wood splitter seating there. So. We'll go grab another load. We'll show you just how easy it is. You'll see why we love getting firewood in the winter versus summer. <laughs> and our trails that we made yesterday, what are they like in there? Are they those oh, trails? They're, beautiful. they're yeah. just, how hard are they? They're hard. Just like pavement, eh? Or pretty close yeah, to it. Good. So, the old stump jumper, yellow hornet, whatever you want to call it. The old stump jumper still work good. And you know why I call it the stump jumper? Want to tell them why? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. I drove over some of these. With it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Not, so. It wasn't, it wasn't the stumps that I drove over, just to be clear. It was the. The stump was right under them. Oh, was there? Yeah, you tossed them right up where the stump was. Or I started oh, piling them I the didn't stump. even know that. Yeah, you ran over these and the stump. Oh, <laughs> I thought, I, sorry. I, I guess stump jumper, I should have put two and two together i didn't even know i i thought i thought because i ran over the the stump was under those yeah i didn't even so didn't realize that. i think i'm gonna have to find somebody with one of those uh what do they call it a cricket cutter or what is that what they call it a cricket cutter a cricket where they cut where they cut stickers oh yeah cricket yeah yeah i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to see if i can get somebody to make me some stickers that says the stump jumper oh. or skinner stump jumper <laughs> <laughs> hey don't worry you won't be the first one i'll do it too don't worry i done it already three times since I've got this going. I did it. I ran over three yesterday. You didn't feel it because it slays in the center, but it's going to happen. 
like it's it's a bush machine it's not it's not a trail machine <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna call it i'm gonna get some stickers made and call it the stump jumper <laughs> and maybe maybe uh uh you know yellow jacket yellow hornet whatever yellow jacket i think uh, carl boswell give it a, a name and i forget what he called it the yellow hornet something but sure. but i also want to call it the stump jumper because we're gonna be jumping a lot of stumps with this baby, I'll tell you right now, because <laughs> we're, well, we're taking I didn't, it. I didn't even realize, I, I, I know I drove over those, I didn't know there was a stump under it. <laughs> yeah, you ran over quite a bit of those, but yes. that's okay, it's gonna happen. Sorry about that. Oh, don't be sorry. Hey, hey, I built it, I built it once, you know, it's, it's gonna get damaged. I mean, it's not gonna be, it's no show piece, I'll tell you that much. It's, it's gonna be, and you know what, you, you see me messing with the hood when I come down the hill, and when I went in, I kept hearing a vibration when I, shortly after putting it together, I heard this low vibration. I thought, goodness gracious, what, did I forget to tighten something, you know? I was pretty sure I tightened everything. It was a hood vibrating. The hood's got that oh. But it'll come up a little bit, and if I push it down, it goes away. So somewhere there's a vibration. So maybe I have the dash adjusted too far back towards me. Oh, maybe. And the hood's vibrating, but, uh, but I, I will. I didn't even notice that. You can't hear it in here, but I can feel it vibrating. No, I mean, even when I, I didn't notice it when I started it up, but I guess I, because I wasn't driving very far, That's right. I was just moving you, it a bit. You have to get the RPMs up a little oh, bit okay, to vibrate. Make it... And, and probably, and probably the sound of the clanging and banging when you hit the stump in these blocks. <laughs> All the other <laughs> stuff that I... <laughs> yeah, I probably, probably, you couldn't hear dragging, that vibration. Dragging, uh, pieces, pieces of wood. And, and me. fiberglass off the yeah. side of the machine. You know, I mean, it's nothing serious, right? I'm like, oh, this is, I don't hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, you didn't what hear nothing. What are you talking all. about? Don't worry, I've already rubbed the paint on this side. The first time I went, I couldn't get around that tree. So it's already scratched here. I already put a big war wound in it already. See, this here comes up here. And there, and yes, there is, there is latches to hold it down. But, oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yellow jacketed stump jumper. Are you okay? <laughs> oh yeah, my cat-like reflexes did not kick in very quickly. I didn't lift my feet. Well, I mean, that, I tripped on that. That's easy to trip over. I've tripped over it many times myself. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Yes. Too bad you weren't holding the camera. Oh, I didn't get hurt, babe. No, I didn't fall. I didn't fall that hard, did I? Yeah. Oh, I didn't you feel fell it. hard. No, I didn't feel it. Oh, that's that's good. I'm glad you didn't feel Yeah, my cat like reflexes didn't kick in. I'll leave oh. it in the video because it's kind of funny. It's the, you know what? It's the first time I think I've seen that your cat like reflexes happened. didn't kick in. Kicked in. No, it's holding Normally, the camera. Normally you I, never fall. Like that's you know, one thing I can say. You never usually fall. No, but this hand I didn't want to drop the camera, so I yeah. put that hand out. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I got to. Got that, caught but there. like I said, that thing's easy to. It's easy to trip over. Um, Yes, when you walk through the... What do you call those so, things? Especially when you're video sorry, yes. videotaping, when you're Run a camera. running a camera. Recording. It's so easy. Yeah, because we don't use videotapes yeah, anymore. Yeah, I know, I know. I but I say that. that too once in a while. But, yeah, but you notice, so easy to trip over. You notice I'm no stump jumper either. I'm also not a sleigh, <laughs> a tongue jumper. <laughs> well, no, we're going to... find hitches are bad. Yeah, they are, yeah. It's easy. And I should be taking the one out of the car there too, but, but I don't. But it won't seize in because I've seen them seize in. So when I built that hitch... I built that all from scratch if you watch my older videos. I made sure there was enough room around that receiver tube when I slid it in. I made sure it was good and clean. There's no super tight fit around there, so it works great. Anyways, we're gonna get in there and we'll show you what the next load looks like. Well, we made it in. It only takes a few minutes to get in here. You know, like two minutes or so, three minutes, whatever. We made it in and there is so much dead wood in here where we are. It is unbelievable. I'm about to go drop those two. They're probably ah, maybe 12 inches on the butt, but there's two right there, dead ones. There's about three or four here. So, I mean, here's what they look like on the butt. You can see, see there's one over there. It's kind of uh, kind of colored on the, on the bottom. There's another one there that's colored and they're dead and they're nice and tall. There's two right here, in fact. And this one here, he's probably, Oh, he's probably over a foot on the butt right there. Right there. And there's so many of them in this spot. There's another one up there. It's just thick, thick, thick in here like this. All dead stuff. There's two right there we're going to drop. Right 
here two right side by side we're going to try to drop them and then we have these right here that we want to clean up see there's one here that guy there is probably oh he's probably 14 inches on the butt there we just cut yesterday and took out but we have these tops we're going to clean up here and then there's a whole bunch more there's another one right there dead one up there oh that's all through in here man we found it we hit a jackpot here we could probably cut out of here for a year or two easy and we wouldn't be able to get it all out of here so i know we're gonna set the camera up yeah see there's another dead one we can size that one in there that's a really so there's some tops in there i want to pull this top out of here see our trails are really hard in here now just from working in here yesterday i want to pull this one out too I cut him down, he's probably about, oh, seven inches, six inches on the, right there, but I can tow him out, we'll cut him up. There's this one I'm going to pull out here, right here, but then that guy in there, he's gotta be about, oh, he's 14, maybe 16 inches on the butt, and he's really tall. There's a whole bunch of them in here like that, that we wanna clean out. There's another one way back in there too. Another one way in there we wanna clean out. And it's not very far from our house either, which is nice. We're gonna set you up on the tripod and we're gonna get cutting. I have a few trails in around here already broken and they'll freeze up hard, hard. Here I'm gonna sink in this snow, that's normal. But when you walk here, you don't even sink on our trails here where we've got them established now. See they've, oh yeah, see look at, there's some more dead ones right there. Really big dead ones in there too. There's another one in there, right up in there, dead. And he's a big one on the butt as well. There's all kinds in here. Mm -hmm. Should be here for a good, we could probably cut in here all next winter as well, right Heather? There's a good spot in here. So see, even this one here, he's just fire and he's not very big at all. But there's two right here by the sleigh, dead. And this guy's split. He's only good for fire with this one. But some of these other ones, Man, they make some nice saw logs. So I'm gonna set this up here. We're gonna drop, I'm gonna have Heather push these for me as I, as I drop them. She does really good at pushing them, so you'll see. I just take my time, and if they seem like they're gonna go backwards, we just step out of the way and let them go wherever they want. The machine's back far enough, and it's kind of hiding behind a tree a little bit, hopefully. It don't catch the tree, but if it does, so be it. It looks like it's gonna go that way. So we're gonna try to drop it through onto our trail, okay? You wanna push this up? Um yeah, we're gonna go right down through between these trees here, okay? Aim for this birch tree.
Pull the head short. Drop that down. Well, that's just how easy it goes in here as far as a load of firewood goes. We'll take this home, we'll uh, throw this off, and we'll come back in. We'll get, sorry here with the camera, we'll get two more loads, eh? Four loads, that's what we'll do. So, well, we're going to ratchet strap this down and uh, we'll show you how we do that. 
Okay, you want to toss me some ratchet straps, Heather, for me? Or just bring them back, whatever. Could have grabbed them all. Leave this here and go grab them all. Good over there? Mm -hmm. Get set in place down there? Yep. Okay. Watch that one in. Straighten it out. Yeah. Don't worry about that one, babe. We don't need it. Don't worry about it on the ground. I don't care what falls yeah. on the ground. Keep poking me in the back. Want it twisted? No, I straightened out. Okay. Oh, you said there's a twist in that. Yes, that's right. Okay, I thought you said, can you twist that? No. Well, I probably did, but I might straighten it out if I did say twist. No, I, I might have just misheard. Okay, that's going nowhere. This one here, I'm just going to stuff it down. What I do is roll this along. I'll roll this block of wood ahead. Stuff them under there. Back. And get my finger really before I do that. All right, that is going nowhere. So now we can head her for home. We just take our time, but go back and we'll try to make two more trips. What do you think? Yep. First, got to strap that chainsaw on. load home of the day that might be a little dark and if it is I'm sorry it's overcast today we're going to toss this off we're gonna see what we have and I am stumbly today and hopefully the camera don't die 
But we won't take you in for the next load because that's probably boring to you folks. We're just going to show you what we get here. Pile up each time. So we're going to undo the straps. We're going to throw them under the seat. We're going to toss this wood off and uh, we'll head back in there. Try not to stretch them too much longer than we need them. That way they're ready to go. You throw that in the seat. You don't mind? Load number two, all tossed off. That's what we've got so far. So, two more loads. We're gonna split it. We're tossing that trailer. So if you stick around, you'll see that as well. See what we get tossed into a five by 10 trailer. Almost fell again. <laughs> so that's what we've got. Out of just two small sleigh loads. And we're getting some exercise, and it's fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The ride's nice. Yep. We get to see our friendly neighborhood rabbit. Yeah, he's cute. In the same place every time. Yes, yes, he is. And a partridge. Yeah. He's there a lot too, so. Okay, well, we're gonna set the camera in the basement. We'll head back in. We'll show you on the next load what we get. We're back with a third load. So we're gonna toss that off. We're going to see what we got here in this pile. Then we're going to make one more trip. And then we're going to start the ATV. We're going to bring it over the 5 by 10 trailer. We're going to split it. We're going to toss it in and just see what we get. But it's starting to get late. It's probably around 3.30 now. It gets dark about, uh, about 5 o'clock. It starts to get dark here now. So let's see what we get. Not too shabby for three small silly loads. It's adding up quite nicely. Yeah. One more load, I think. Like I say, that'll be four. Then we'll start splitting. You can see what we get. Hopefully we'll get done. It'll be dark, probably or close to it by the time we're done splitting all this, but but anyway. It does not take long to move a lot of firewood with a snowmobile and a sleigh when you're up here. It goes pretty quick, don't it? And you get exercise. My butt and legs are on fire from doing that, walking through that snow. Yours? My legs are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we will uh, see you on the next load. Fourth load in the yard. Yeah, this was a weird load, man. It, it loaded kind of weird to the one side, but that is fine. It still come out, man, I'm stumbling. Well, with that unloaded, and we'll see what we have. Roughly, you can get a good idea of what you can haul with an old snow machine and a little bit of time, as long as you have the wood available. This is all dry, jack pine, dead standing, 
jack pine. I wouldn't say it's bone dry, because there is a little bit of moisture around the outside. So when it's like that, we don't mind splitting it and putting it in the basement. But if you do it too early in the year, you will end up with a lot of little bugs because they won't, well, even now, they'll wake up and they'll come out if we put them in too early. So we're gonna pile them in anyways. And what we're going to do is we're gonna put, like I said, fly strips or something to, to keep them maybe at bay. But we've had that before. It looks like a horror show in there, hasn't it? <laughs> when all those little moths start to- Like X-Files. The X-Files, yeah. That's what it's like. But man, that sky looks nice up there behind the house. Well, that'd be in front. The other side is the front of the house. This is the back of the house, by the way. This basement actually faces northeast. That's the way the basement faces. So we're going to get this unloaded. And you'll see what we can haul with an old snowmobile, like I say. Just some old piece of junk I put together out of junk parts. And uh, just a normal sleigh anybody can, can pick up. So, well... We're gonna undo those straps and we're gonna see what we get out of here. Well, that is the fourth load tossed off as you've seen. That's the size of Heather there. That's, oh, boy, oh boy, I'm falling here. Through that, you step in where it's soft here and you go down, but that is the size of wood pile we have now with four small loads. There's enough there once it's split, we could probably burn a month maybe close to it close to a month maybe not quite a month but it'll be darn close i think but we'll find out though i mean i mean the days are going to get colder so of course as it gets colder you need more wood but that's what we have we did that in an afternoon once we split that i mean it'll shrink a little bit right because there's less airspace. We try to pile it so there's not much airspace here. We try to pack it in pretty tight here, as you can see. There's a few little spaces in there. But it's all nice seasoned, I guess you'd call that, dead pine because it seasons as it's standing to a certain extent, right? We were gonna split this, but it's getting late now, folks. So we're not gonna split it. So anyways, um, tomorrow, Got it. We'll split it first thing in the morning. We'll toss it into the trailer. And if you come back tomorrow, you'll see how much wood we get out of this. So you folks take care and we'll talk to you another time. Bye bye all.